Okay, so today I'm gonna to tell you about these plastic bins that I keep a lot of my instructional units in. Um, so as you can see, um, it's plastic and it has this clasp right here. And I absolutely love these because I can keep all of my papers, my black line masters, my centers, um, anything with little pieces in it and they're not gonna fall out. So inside, all of my math units are the um, structured pretty much the same. So you're gonna have your like black line masters and I'll show you that here. And I just keep it in a soft folder with page protectors. And then over here, I keep all of my centers and these are actually page protectors. Um, and then inside each page protector, I keep my, like a black line master. This is a, like a recording sheet. All of my centers have recording sheets for accountability. Um, and then I just put all the little pieces in baggies and then each center just stays organized inside this page protector. And that makes it so easy when um, going through and trying to find a specific center and keeping all of your pieces organized. So here is another center. Um, and I actually also keep, like behind it is the blank recording sheet. And then in front, this is an example. So if I ever color one, I just leave it in here so I can show students. So in here are all my centers, um, the directions I keep. You can laminate the directions for the centers and keep them in here, or also just keep them in page protectors. But that's what's here. So on this side, it's all of my centers. And then inside the soft folder, and like I said, all of my math units are structured the same. So they all look like this. Inside the soft folder, you'll see our page protectors again. And this is where I keep my standard checklist, my pre and post tests, and all of my black line masters that when I need to make copies, I can just pull from here. So it's all super organized, easy to find. My papers don't get wrinkled. Um, if you're in the classroom and you're gonna be making multiple copies of this, you can actually save paper and print these front to back because you're just using these to make copies. If you're homeschooling, you may want to print them not front to back. So that is what's inside the soft folder. And then I can just keep everything in this one case that latches like this. And then you can store them really easily on a bookshelf. You can store them um, anywhere you need in your classroom. But this is what it looks like for all of my math units. And that is all of them.